Hi, my name is Courtney Morrison and I'm an application engineer with Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today, I'm going to talk about rent pulses. A rent pulse can occur in digital circuits when a pulse does not reach a valid high or low level. This is usually caused by switching between asynchronous clocks or a metastable output of a flip-flop. The easiest way to catch these rent pulses is to use a rent trigger. The waveform shown is currently set up on an auto edge trigger. To begin setting up the rent trigger, press the trigger mode button and set the mode to normal. Press the enhance trigger button. Select the type as rent. The scope is now triggering when the signal passes through the lower trigger level, but not the upper trigger level. Press source. You can adjust the polarity to trigger when it passes through the lower level, but not the upper level, when it passes through the upper level, but not the lower level, or either. Adjust the upper and lower trigger levels using the jog shuttle. You can also press on upper or lower level on the screen and type the exact voltage levels you want. Rump pulses can also be time qualified. Press escape to get out of the source menu and press time qualification. You can set it to trigger no matter what the pulse width is or when it's more than, less than, inside, or outside of a time range. You can adjust the time range in the lower right side of the screen. Once you're done testing, you can view and save the past triggers by going into the history menu. Here, you can scroll through each trigger waveform and view a list of each trigger and when it happened. To save the history data, press File and then Others. Select the data type as History List. Choose where you want it saved to and the file name. Then press Save History List. I hope this has helped you learn when and how to use a Brunt trigger on the DLM 3000. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com.